how's everyone doing? <laughs> I just like, I don't know how many of you are over on uh, YouTube, but Neil has laid out the whole magpie song for me. If you guys have no idea, <laughs> no idea what I'm talking about, make sure you, um, you head over to my Instagram stories and check that out. Look at this. Look at this mug. I knew Daryl and Natalie were going to be here tonight. So I'm using my mug specially. It's got some hot water, honey and lemon in it. But it's really hot. But how cute is this? Look at it. Thank you, Dastrid, for the mug. My pride and joy now. <laughs> so, hello, Neil. Um, Adrian, Don, Odell, Daryl, Astrid, Chris. Uh, we've got Chris also over on YouTube and Chris on Facebook. Um, Matt, Jonathan, Robert, John, Mark. Thank you so much for being here. What a turnout. This is a very special, very special live stream. So starting last year, but I'm going to try and do it every year in February. I did um, a year as a songwriter for 2020. This was last year, obviously not this year. <laughs> and I got to sing through songs that I'd written in 2020 and talk about them. And these are songs that I, I may never get to record even, or may never want to record. So this is kind of a really special live stream for me, a chance to show kind of the work that I'm doing behind the scenes that maybe you guys don't or won't see or hear. So this year, obviously we're doing 2021. Um, you guys know that it was a busy year for me. It kind of starts off a bit slow and then May it really picks up and I've, I've had to choose which songs to sing because I wrote too many. <laughs> mm. So, we're going to start with one that I wrote in January. It will start with love songs. <laughs> Just going to pre-warn you now. It gets darker towards the end of the year. This one's called Luckiest Girl. Again, probably a song I will never record now. Because, um, yeah, don't feel so lucky anymore. <laughs> oh. I will never be famous or get that house in LA. Maybe I won't go up in lights with thousands screaming my name, no six figure paychecks, no wardrobe full of shoes, but I will be the luckiest girl. And as long as we share a roof above our heads, baby, you've got no flaws. No one's ever gonna come through that door that could ever change your mind. Open all the windows but close all the blinds Let's stay up all night until the light breaks through Baby mm -hmm. It's good if I know the lyrics I will be the luckiest girl If I have you And I will get a job you that promotion you deserve and we will buy the house of our dreams and fix it up in the evenings and when you are weary no i will see you through because i will be the luckiest girl and as long as we share a roof above our heads baby you've got no flaws no one's ever gonna come through that door That could ever change my mind Open all the windows but close all the blinds Let's stay up all night until the light breaks through I'll be the luckiest girl If I have you On my devotion 
Cause my love runs deeper than the Pacific Ocean Baby, you've got no flaws No one's ever gonna come through that door That could ever change my mind Open all the windows but close all the blinds Let's stay up all night until the light breaks through Cause baby, you've got no flaws No one's ever gonna love me like you do Let's stay up all night until the light breaks through I will be the luckiest girl that one i don't i don't play that one at all it's it's weird how a song goes from being like your favorite song that you've ever written to completely never being able to play it ever again because of all the memories that are attached to it so huh. however i did then use those um same chords and make a new song um which is kind of more true to my story now i guess if you will but i'm not playing that tonight it's been, a, it's been really hard to choose what I'm going to play tonight because um, I've got so much that I'm working on and I don't want to give too much away, like I like, um, I like having a surprise, you know? Cheers. Let me go back up and see, see what everyone's saying. Um, hi Ilsa, I'm sorry that you've had a tough day, hopefully this uh, takes your mind off of it. Hey Bob, how's everyone doing? Um, I will tell you this time next week if I am the luckiest man. Oh, cryptic Adrian. I'm here for it though. I want to know all about it. Make sure you, you let us know. I've always got my eye on the friend group on Facebook. Just so you guys know, I'm always in the background. I can see what you're posting, what you're saying. <laughs> and it brings me such joy to go on there every so often and, and read your comments. Hello Hayden over on YouTube. Um, going on a weekend long first in-person date a weekend long as in you're going like the whole weekend is 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 one date that is dedication i love that um sammy says she loves my cup what can i say it's not tea it's hot water honey and lemon good for the vocals i've been recording a lot of vocals in the studio recently and so i've just literally been <laughs> soothing myself up so that was written in January last year. I then didn't really write much until May. I think it's because obviously released. I don't know if you guys know, but I released an album. I'm just saying. <laughs> so I wasn't really writing as much. So this next song I wrote 4th of May, 2021. Let me put this up here so I can see the lyrics because this one I definitely don't know enough. <laughs> and there it is. This is called How You Treat Your Mama. So this is kind of something that I learned, I learned when I was living in Texas. Um, and a lot of my girl friends would say to me that if you want to know how good your man is, like, look at how he treats his mama. And so I kind of got this idea of this song called How, how You Treat Your Mama. And it's basically about saying that it doesn't matter what you kind of portray on the outside to other people what what girls really care about is how you treat them I'm so sick of country love songs because the guys always know what to say it starts in a bar, in the dark, taking shots at her heart. The real life don't go that way. Cause you could be the football captain, your high school champion, a winner in your friend's eyes. 
A teenage dream in black denim jeans with a white tee that fits just right. But when all that is said and done and put to bed at night, how you treat your mama is what a girl has in her sights. Trying to take her home Or telling her she might be the one Don't fill her head with dreams Or her heart with fantasies If all you want is fun And you could be the football captain Your high school champion A winner in your friend's eyes A teenage dream in black Jeans with a white tee that fits just right But when all that is said and done And put to bed at night How you treat your mama Is what a girl has in her sights Cause you could be the football captain Your high school champion A winner in your friend's eyes Boy next door, rich or poor, a hero in disguise. But when all that is said and done, there's a difference in wrong and right. How you treat your mama is what a girl has in her sights. Cause how you treat your mama, cause all a girl wants is to be treated right. You can definitely tell these are the songs that I don't play very often. And again, I, I probably will never record that. It was just a song that I wrote and I enjoyed writing it. And, you know, it's, it's an all right song, but it's just not me. I don't know if you can hear it when I'm Maybe when I'm singing, I feel like I'm giving too much away. <laughs> I'm like, I've got no emotion behind him. Mm. I've just, I also realised halfway through um, playing that. I haven't even set my stream up. I haven't even got my banner on StreamYard up. I've just kind of jumped in and been like, oh, yeah. That's, that's, I'll have that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've got none of my branding on this at all. So let's have a quick, have a, let's have a quick look. Which one do I want? Is it this one? Aha! There we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I was literally looking. I was like, there's something wrong with this stream yard. There's nothing, that's not quite right, but I can't put my finger on what it is. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, it was so, did you like the bracelet I made you? Yes, I love the bracelet. Thank you so much. I just can't wear it when I'm playing guitar because it gets caught in my strings. Um, so that was May the 4th. Um, I then wrote my single, I've Forgotten How to Smile on May 12th. It changes very quickly, as you can tell. I know you guys have heard this song like a million times. My t-shirt is on brand as well as the banner. Yes. We like on brand. I don't feel like I need to introduce this. I think you guys know this song probably inside out. What it's about. Where I'm at with it. <laughs> so this was my first UK country number one on iTunes. And it was like a really surreal day for me getting number one with this song because I was ecstatic it's something that I've been working towards for a very long time but it's also a song that I'd never wish I'd had to write and I remember on the day on um, October 8th when this song was released it's a special date to me as well um, although that's something kind of for me you guys don't need to 100% know why <laughs> just know that's why I remember the date um, I wrote this note and it basically said how I felt so conflicted because you guys had gone all out. You'd helped me get this number one on the iTunes country charts. And I felt like I couldn't fully celebrate because I was so caught up in emotion. I remember at the time sending this, this short paragraph to someone because I was like, I don't know if I should post it. And uh, they were like, no, don't. This is like, let, let the fans have this day because they've worked so hard to get you here. Isn't that strange though? 
it's kind of like you want to be happy, but you can't because it's so tinted in sadness in a way. I don't know. Anyway, this is I've Forgotten How to Smile. Ooh. I'm awake at 5 a.m. I just stare at my ceiling. And I try to make sense of it all. I've been trying to find some meaning. Cause my heart's still beating. It only hurts when I'm breathing. Every word that I write don't feel right. Where did we go so wrong? It's you. The first thing that's on my mind till I fall asleep at night. No matter how I try, can't get you off my mind. Cause you left with no reason why. Said you love me, but maybe you lied. And it's breaking me up inside. I've forgotten how to smile. And then the nights turn into days Nothing tastes the same And all my friends think I'm going insane Cause I'm trying to find some meaning I just keep repeating our last day And all the things you'd say to me Every word you said didn't feel real Am I dumb or was I blind? It's you, the first thing that's on my mind Till I fall asleep at night No matter how I try I can't get you off my mind Cause you left with no reason why Said you love me but maybe you lied It's breaking me up inside I've forgotten how to smile They say maybe it's for the best Cause if he really loved me He'd hate to see me this way If he really loved me He would never have let me drive my car home Whilst I'm running on empty But it's still you First thing that's on my mind Till I fall asleep at night I've tried Cause you Left with no reason why Said you love me but maybe you lied I forgot May the 12th, I wrote that. And the music video is coming out in March. I'm so excited. I feel like it's been, the well, you recorded this music video in October. Literally, I think it was like the week after it was released or the week before it was released. Um, we recorded the music video and I was like, okay, well, when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'll, um, I'll release it. Cause obviously I had, had the Christmas single coming out. So um, I was like, oh, I don't really want to put the music video out just yet. Um, and then editing has taken quite a long time. And um, I'm actually still waiting for it. I can't lie to you guys. I'm still waiting for it to come back. The music video, I still haven't got it. But I said I'd release it in March and it shall be released in March. I'm super excited. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I hired out a whole theatre. And it was just the most... Uh, what is what I'm looking for here? It was just an experience that I felt like I'd needed after releasing that song. It was really therapeutic for me. To just stand there in this theatre and sing this song a hundred times, bear in mind for the video, but <laughs> it was really good. Mm. 
and I cannot wait for you guys to see the music video. I think you'll be able to connect with the song even deeper. These little these little Easter eggs that I keep leaving in places. It's um <laughs> I don't know if you could tell, I'm very excited. Um Yes, I've just seen Adrian's comment about Kickstarter. Thank you so much everyone that has already donated to my Kickstarter. Means the world. There's a week left on it. Um, anything that you tip me on PayPal tonight is going to go straight to the Kickstarter as well. Um, I've got it in my PayPal. Only because when I put it on Kickstarter they also take 10%. So, <laughs> so I've been keeping it in my PayPal but it is going to go towards this Kickstarter as well super excited about it the link is everywhere you can't miss it see if you can even if it's just a pound just um it goes a long way but thank you so much for everyone that has already donated i think i've just seen daryl's put the link in as well hi michael how you doing and thank you for all the love adrian is tequila sunset a cocktail so tequila sunrise is a cocktail <laughs> which is kind of like the twist on the name tequila because it is it is a little um kind of happy you could drink along to it. I don't even... It does mention drinking a, a, a small portion, but it's not like a huge drinking song. It's actually about kind of summer love. And um, that... You know, that moment when you kind of like, you know, link eyes with someone across a room. <laughs> and it may not be a forever thing, but it's exciting in that moment. And it's the what's going to happen kind of aspect of it. Um, I absolutely adore it and I cannot, I've been sitting on it for nearly three years because it just wasn't like, it was ready after Lie To Me and I couldn't, I couldn't, for some reason I just feel like I couldn't put it out after releasing Lie To Me because Lie To Me was so deep and personal. I was then like, I can't now put out this summer banger because it's just, you know, too, too close. So I sat on it and then last year. I was like some personal things going on and I just was not in the right headspace to release it at all. And so it's coming out this year. <laughs> it will definitely come out because I'm filming the music video for it in April. Super excited about it. So I cannot wait for you guys to hear it. Oh my God, there's so many comments. I'm so sorry. Um, can you confirm your performance date for Country on the Coast, please, Mark? So I would like to say Sunday the 10th of April is when I'm playing Country on the Coast. I would like to say that. That is what it is in my diary. <laughs> that might be wrong. I can't lie to you. I'm um, just waiting for Lily to 100% confirm. <laughs> oh dear. Let's have a look. Hello, Linda. Thank you for joining us. And I think I saw Alan as well earlier. Thank you. So, we'll carry on. We're now on the 27th of May. This is again a song I may never really. Oh, no, you know what? I'm probably not going to release this one, but just for you guys tonight, I'm going to play it. I kept when I was like practicing for this this afternoon. I was like, maybe I shouldn't, because I often save these on YouTube. I say often, I always have these on YouTube for catch ups later, and I was like, maybe I shouldn't do this one as a catch up because um, it's a lot of personal songs going on here. <laughs> this one's called "People Change, Leave Me Alone." which is quite literally a text message I received and therefore wrote the song about it. Three weeks on I see your face in everything that I do I can't forget about you I know it's wrong Cause your best friend's girlfriend said you'd moved on But you told me I was the one And I can't keep running in your circle But I can't find the strength I need to let you go When all my friends are growing up and having babies monthly rent they can just afford as for me I took your word I got a job and a credit card and you told me that together we'd build a life and 
And that was just before you changed your mind Twenty-one days in I've only called you three times But you never pick up the line I'm not here to beg you down the phone but your text reads people change leave me alone and everyone says I'll get over you but they didn't know you the way that I do and all my friends are growing up and having babies paying monthly rent they can just afford as for me Took your word, I got a job and a credit card And you promised me that together we'd build a life But that was just before you changed your mind And at 27, I never thought I'd be where I am today Saying these things I have to say And seeking out help to medicate When all my friends are growing up and having babies Paying monthly rent they can just afford As for me I took your word, I got a job and a credit card And you promised me that together we'd build a life But that was just before you changed your mind <laughs> Sometimes I think I write too personally I was in the studio the other day And there's, there's um I'm like, how much do I want to give away? Um, there's a brand new song I've been working on that I'm really excited about. She has the same chords as that first song I played you. And um, there's two lines in it. Let me think. This, well, the one line I'm talking about is, I agreed to take your last name and raise the kids you already had. And I turned around to my, my producer, producer Paul, and I said to him, is this too personal? <laughs> am I... Am I going to regret this and no word of lie Paul turned around to me and he was like this never stopped you before <laughs> I was like no you're right it never has stopped me before so <laughs> I guess I would just release this song um right let me um let's go back up quickly and I feel like I've, I've missed so much you guys you talk and I miss it it was great to meet you in Manchester. John, it was so good to meet you too. I met, I met so many people in Manchester that came up to me and were like, oh, I've watched your live streams for the last two years and we've never got to meet. And it blew my mind because um, these live streams were very much for me as they were for you guys just to keep me sane, as sane as I am, obviously. And so actually hearing that that's how people had found me and then they'd come to my gig, oh, it was just a real kind of um, a circle moment for me. It felt... Like I was doing, I'd done something right, I guess, if you will. Anyway, <laughs> let me see. Um, Astrid saying, my songwriting skills never fail to amaze you. Hmm, thank you. Am I going to see to Fit C Festival? So I've got a ticket for the Friday. Um, not really sure if it's going ahead, if I'm honest. I saw all the pictures of the O2 Arena. So I was a bit, I didn't know... What's going on? I might go for the weekend, but I might just go around the outside, not, you know, the actual inside. But the tickets are so expensive. This is my problem. And I spend a lot of money on music. <laughs> and if I'm not spending it on, like, my, this is my music, obviously. If I'm not spending it on recording or whatever, I have a little guilt. I feel a little guilt and I don't know why. And it's something I need to grow out of, but... Mm. It is hot, hot water, honey and lemon in, um, in the T-Rex. And then obviously... I couldn't go without my my mug of water. 
It just didn't feel right not to have the blue one as well. So I've got both. <laughs> um, never stopped me before. Yes, Dave. It's never stopped me before. <laughs> Louise Parker's studio. Yeah. Right, let's get on with the songs. So we're now jumping forward to July. Um, this song's called Gambling Man. It was one of those songs that just kind of came to me, as you can see. There is no crossing out on this page at all. So I just wrote it. And again, a song that I probably never record, but it just needed to happen. So this is called Gambling Man. writing my guitar string so let me just move that <clears throat> I just want to be wanted I need to be needed where is the good in goodbye not all wounds heal with time and I'd love to be loved Given the chance to be weak instead of strong What is the good for in good night With no one to respond by your side They say good things come to those who wait So what bad have I done to deserve this fate? And I'm not a gambling man, but if I was, I'd fall down to my knees and pray. I don't know if you can hear me, I don't know if you're busy. I don't want to take up your time with my nervous rambling mixed up lines I don't know how this works Don't think I'm welcome in a church Cause I'm a sinner dressed up in a smile Would my prayer be even worth your while? I guess what I'm trying to say Is cause you make me an angel Who would love me anyway I don't want to hurt no more Could you take the pain away? And is it okay if I smile When underneath it's all a lie? Cause I don't know if you can hear me And I don't know if you're busy I don't want to take up your time with my nervous rambling mixed up lines I don't know how this works Don't think I'm welcome in a church Cause I'm a sinner dressed up in a smile Would my prayer be even worth your while? I guess what I'm trying to say Is can you send me an angel Who could love me anyway? gambling man but if I was I'd step over all the cracks and keep my fingers crossed cause I don't know if you can hear me I don't know if you're busy and I don't want to 
Take up your time with my nervous rambling mixed up lines I don't know how this works Don't think I'm welcome in a church Cause I'm a sinner dressed up in a smile Would my prayer be even worth your while? I guess what I'm trying to say Is can you send me an angel Who could love me anyway? <laughs> I never know how to what to say after these things. I'm like, and there is a song that I wrote. <laughs> Ooh. Right, let's have a little look. Let's go back. Chris said we're all angels for different people. I know you guys are my angel. I love you guys. Alan's sounding good. Um, hey Ben. No crossings out. So jealous. <laughs> well, these like these. I love these songs. Don't get me wrong, but. Sometimes I, I write because I need to write. Like these songs just aren't for you guys and for my music. They're because it's how I process things. It's how I work. Um, music has quite literally saved my life <laughs> many, many times. Um, it's how I survive songwriting. So yeah, I love it. And then just you guys loving it too makes it even more special for me getting to share it with people. Um, Astra says, can we expect another EP or CD soon with a winky face? Oh, that'd be telling. But yes, you, I'm so bad with my own secrets and you guys know I am, so don't ask me anymore. But yes. <laughs> okay, so this song was actually requested when I announced that I was playing this gig. <clears throat> this song was requested and luckily I wrote it last year so it fits in perfectly. And I want to say that Chris asked if I was going to play it. So, this is called If I Ever Had a Kid. Um, I wrote this in August because I think I always had this expectation that by 28, which is the age I am now, 28, that I'd have children and that I'd be married. And um, <laughs> obviously it hasn't quite worked out that way. So I wrote this song called If I Had a Kid. Um, oh my, this is my ukulele. For those who haven't, Met Bing. This is Bing, my new baby. If I had a kid, I'd love them with all my heart. I tell them every day how special they are. If I had a kid, I'd answer all of their questions. I'd show them the world and all of its directions If I had a kid I'd hold them when they were sad <laughs> If I had a kid I'd give them everything I had Ooh, Isn't it funny the way that life doesn't go to plan With no reason it slips through your fingers like sand just remember you're doing the best you can but if I had a kid every day be a Saturday I'd get up early sit on the floor and play if I had a kid yeah I promise I won't complain, but I won't take for granted even. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> so I just, I just said I won't take. I won't take for granted. I don't know. It was like, was that like really Scottish or something? I'm so sorry. Right, compose myself. <clears throat> if I had a kid, yeah. I promise I won't complain, but I won't take for granted each and every moment I get to see their face. A kid, I kiss their pain away, but I let them go, make mistakes again and again and again. Ooh, isn't it funny the way the life doesn't go to plan? With no rhyme or reason, it slips through your fingers like sand. Ooh, just remember you're doing the best you. 
can. Maybe I'll get a dog. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what that was. And I probably could have carried on because Daryl said, did anyone even notice? But um, I was laughing so hard internally that I was like, I need to, um, I need to admit that I've just said teak. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. That is the last song in this notebook. So we have to go on to the next notebook. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Um, before we go on though, someone messaged me over the weekend to say that, um, it was someone's birthday or something. I don't know. Someone special had a birthday on Saturday. And they asked if I could, um, if I could sing them a song. I don't know on guitar, but I'm more than happy just to, uh, no, this is not a song I wrote. So this is so out character for a songwriting. <laughs> but, Daryl, I was told that it was your birthday over the weekend, so... All together, ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daryl. Happy birthday to you. Woo! And I'm just imagining that you were all singing along. Okay? <laughs> okay. Let's see. So the first song, so this, I've written, you guys know that I'm doing a songwriting challenge this year and I'm trying to write once a week. I'm not going to lie, I haven't written for a couple of weeks. So I've fallen behind a little, little bit, but I did write a really good song like yesterday, so I'm super excited about that. But we are starting kind of mid-section through all of this, because as I said, I'm recording a lot and I want to keep a few bits a secret. So I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to be good, because you know what I'm like with secrets. I'm not even going to read the comments because I know that you guys will coerce it out of me. But this is a song that, if you have been to any of my gigs recently, you would have heard me play. I've only played it, I think, three times. So I'm going to play it for you guys now. It will be released later this year. I'm super excited about it. So continuing on with the theme of heartbreak, I wrote this song back in August, I believe. Yeah, oh no, the 11th of September I wrote this. It's called A Little Bit Drunk. And I just kind of like the idea that you can't be a little bit drunk. You're either drunk or you're not, right? So I just think it's, um, it's just an interesting way of phrasing it, yeah? And it's about drunk dialing that person that you know that you shouldn't. And um, I guess this is kind of what I would say to them if I, if I did drunk dial them. Although I'm very lucky that I've a strong network of friends that have never let me drunk dial. <laughs> I'm a little bit drunk. I've had one too many. Can you pick me up? Take me back to the place where we fell in love. Between the sheets on the first floor. A place I've been so many times before. It's been so long since you let me walk out the door with no reason So many lies in between But if I drunk out your number Would you pick up the phone? And I know I should know better and leave well enough alone But could you tell me the truth? Are you better off without? Oh, Henry, I'm a little bit drunk. Can you help me out? You broke my heart. Isn't that how all good love stories start? The hero always finds a way to stop them falling apart. And in the end, they all ride off into the sunset. But if I drunk out your number, would you pick up 
the phone And I know I should know better Leave well enough alone But can you tell me the truth Are you better off without Oh Henry I'm a little bit drunk Can you help me out Cause if I drunk out your number I'll tell you the truth That I've been counting off the days Since I lost you It's not healthy or helping But what am I to do? Oh, Henry, you cheated on me Said yourself you'll never be true Oh, Henry, I'm a little bit drunk And I still love you I've had one too many. Can you pick me up? <laughs> I love that song so much. And as soon as I wrote it, again, sorry, Ben, no crossings out. As soon as I wrote that song, I was like, I freaking love this song. I've got to record that. You know what? Even it made it, it was like a Saturday, I think I wrote that song. So I wrote that song the 11th of September. And then literally the next day, so the 12th of September, I wrote, I don't believe in Christmas. What a weekend! What a weekend, if I say so myself! I can you- ah! Let me just- I feel like sometimes I have to prove these things, otherwise people don't believe me. So this is, I don't believe in Christmas, quite a few scribblings. But look, the 11th of the 9th and then the 12th of the 9th. What a weekend! For me! So I'm not going to play I don't believe in Christmas because I think it's just a little smidge too early for Christmas songs. In a, as a personal opinion. But yeah. <sighs> Let me just pat myself on the back there. <laughs> so we have to skip a few because, as I said, I am in the studio. I don't want to give too much away. Very excited. Which actually leaves us on my last song of this evening. I'm sorry. Honestly, there is so much. There is so much I want to play you. Um, but either it's not in 2021, so therefore it can't count as a year as a songwriter in 2021. Or I'm recording it, so I'm like, oh, I just want a few little secrets. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. Do you guys know what I'm like? Because I'll spill them all. <laughs> but I am continuously writing. This one I wrote on the 21st of December. So I have had to skip a couple of months. But only because, um, as I said, I'm too excited about what I'm doing. And um, l last year wasn't a great year for me, <laughs> personally. Mm. And then, I don't know, I kind of, I guess you could say that I found out really who my friends were and who they stuck, you know, who stuck with me through it all. And so December was another really tough month. <clears throat> I wrote this song called This Is Life. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. And it's one of the ones that I'm hoping, I'm hoping to record whenever I get round to recording whatever is next after this year. Because I'm all planned out for releases this year, which is super excited about. Uh, um, this is called This Is Life. tell you that I've cried Sat at home alone every night Like Pinocchio, I must never lie Cause things have changed and life's moved on I hit the ground running, learning from my wrongs And finally I see the light And I'm not pouring out my heart into another sad song Cause I'm out with my girls pouring me a strong one Singing cheers, and I'll drink to that. It's another day, a different time. I've been there, done that. This is so well, cause I tried. It is what it is, what we will be. And maybe in another life, this is taking tequila with the soul down the line. i 
done my time, I've paid my dues I've fallen flat and missed my cue I've got the tea, I've got the tattoo These are my favourite lines I've ever written, these next two, okay? I know my skin, I know my flaws I know my fight, I know my cause I am who I am through and through And I'm not pouring out my heart into another sad song this one doesn't count, okay? Cause I'm out with my boys Pouring me a strong one And singing cheers And I'll dream to that It's another day A different time I've been there, done that This is so well Cause I tried It is what it is What we will be And maybe in another life this is taking tequila with the salt and the lime Cause this is life Singing cheers I'll drink to that It's another day A different time I've been there, done that This is all well Cause I tried It is what it is What we will be And maybe in another life This is taking tequila With the salt and the lime Taking tequila With the salt and the lime this is life I've been there, done that What will be, will be mm -hmm. <laughs> I might record that I don't know, whenever I get done what I'm doing at the moment. Um, I did see, I think I saw Ben, ben send me a message where, did, where Ben said something. You guys talk a lot. But the song is my favourite of yours. Which song are you referring to, Ben? Which, which song? I might play it. We've got time. I could just sprinkle it in there. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm so bad, you guys. I need no, like, coercing at all. Honestly. Um, so, Ben, tell me which song you're talking about and I'll, um... I might just play it, because why not? Uh, ben Selleck, are you one of her boys? Ben Selleck is one of my boys. I actually put lyrics, um, I put a photo up of me, Ben and Simon. And um, I actually put those lyrics up there. I, I think I put, I'm not pouring out my heart into another sad song. I'm out with my boys pouring me a strong one, because they'd all gone for a drink. Um, isn't that weird? That's so strange. But those, yeah, those are my lyrics. But that has got my favourite in it ever, um, which is, I know my skin, I know my flaws, I know my fight, I know my cause. I am who I am through and through. I don't know, there's just something that I love about I love about those lyrics. When I wrote them, I was like, oh. Sometimes you just like that with songs. I don't know, maybe it's just me. <laughs> but Ben Ben is now playing hard to get and not replying, so thank you everyone. For sorry, I was just momentarily distracted there because someone's calling me on my phone. Um <laughs> It'd be the weirdest live stream ever if I just answered. Could you imagine? Hello? <laughs> um, but yeah, Ben's Ben is playing hard to get, so maybe I'll just maybe I should leave it. <laughs> I think I think I have an idea of, of which one you're of which one you're uh, you're referring to, but I don't want to give too much away. So maybe I should say good night. Thank you for all the love. Um, you guys have, have loved. <laughs> so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to read the comments at the same time. I'm so glad you guys have like loved the songs as much as I do. And as I said, there are some in there that I'll probably never record. Either because they're too painful. Or it's just not what I want to... Um, just not what I want to put out at the moment. Oh, so Ben's a little bit drunk. A little bit drunk. I thought you were referring to a different song, Ben. So I'll, uh, I'll leave it there. Although I'm really tempted to play one more. Oh, no. No, I should. I should. I should keep it to myself. 
Or I could just play a verse and chorus. <laughs> You know I want to, so I'm going to do it anyway, let's be honest. So back in December, I went uh, up to Blackpool uh, to see Hayley Collins. You guys know Hayley Collins. She plays keys for me on all my tracks. Um, and we had like a songwriting retreat. It was around the same time that I Don't Believe in Christmas came out. So it was the start of December. And while I was there, I was like, should we, should we write a song? And I had this hook that I couldn't get rid of in my head. And it was... Um, I could be a good, good girlfriend, but only on the weekend. And I had this hook, and I recorded it into my phone because I couldn't get rid of it, but I, I couldn't quite, I couldn't quite get down what I wanted to, to say. And so I played to Hayley Collins, and she was like, "Damn!" She was like, "That's such a good hook," and she literally just like sat on her piano and worked out the chords. And I was like, "This," I was like, "Oh my god, you're so amazing, and I love you, Hayley Collins," <laughs> which is how I often feel. Well, I'm around Hayley Collins, I do love her, she's adorable. Mm. And so we wrote this song and it's kind of off the back of what someone said to me. Um, they said to me that I deserved better and that they could only give me four days a month and that I should want more than that. And I remember at the time reading this message and being like, as if I've got more than four days a month to give you, I am so busy. Like I didn't, you know, anyway, whatever. It was all a lie anyway, it, you know, the truth always comes out in the wash, didn't it? So we started this song called Weekend Girlfriend. I'm just gonna sing a verse in the chorus for you because I don't wanna give too much away. I could be a good, good girlfriend. Monday to Friday, not living that nine to five. All I was hustling, living that country star life. You grab the keys and take the Jeep, cause I'm. No. You grab the keys, let's take the Jeep, get this show on the road. Cause I could be a kind, the kind you like. And I could be. Magic right before your eyes I could be fancy, fearless When you've got my time And I can be a good, good girlfriend But only on the weekend That's who you get. <laughs> I love it so much and Hayley Collins loves it and I'm looking forward to getting into the studio and recording it. But that is it. That is all you're getting, I'm afraid. I can't give you any more. Um, so I'm going to bid you a good night, my sweet, sweet friends. Thank you so much for being here. Um, you guys know that I adore you. I've got so much coming out that I'm so excited for you guys to hear and see. Music videos and new songs and uh, really big gigs. I confirmed a really big festival gig today. So I'm super excited about this year and hopefully I'll get to spend a lot of it with you guys. These live streams aren't going anywhere. Just so you know, I'm still going to do these once a month because I, it's just really important that I get to have this time with you. So until next time, remember to look after yourselves, look after each other, be good and um, share my music with your friends and family. That'd be really handy. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Bye.